Step by step, I'll show you how to make this kind of rotating, spiral, staircase. It's actually quite simple. The only slightly difficult part is measuring and cutting the side plate. Once you understand the principle, you'll get it right away. First, you need to know the total height, the diameter of the central pipe, and a rotation angle. Here, I'll use 270 degrees as an example. Draw a plan view according to your measurements. The pipe radius is 66.5 millimeters. The outer stair radius is 166.5 millimeters. After drawing, calculate the stair tread layout. Let's take seven steps as an example. Divide the outer arc into seven equal sections and connect each point to the center of the circle. These lines represent each tread plate. When you're skilled, you don't even need to draw the plan. Just divide the pipe into seven equal sections according to the arc length that corresponds to the rotation angle. Note, not the entire circle. The total height of the staircase is 336 millimeters. 336 divided by 8 is equal to 42 mm, which is the height of each step. Mark every 42 millimeters along the pipe to indicate the step heights. Draw out all seven tread plates. These will later be welded into position. After welding all treads in place, you'll get the basic spiral shape. Now let's talk about cutting the side plate. The key step, draw a right angle and mark the total height, 336 millimeters. Then mark the height of each individual step. Use the formula, outer radius 166.5 plus side plate thickness 3 millimeters times 3.14 times open parenthesis 270 divided by 180 close parenthesis equals outer arc length 799 millimeters. Take that 799 millimeters, draw a vertical line upward and mark the rise angle height. Connect these two points that gives you the actual side plate length. Draw horizontal lines for each step height. Position the side plate properly, mark the tread positions, and you can start welding directly. That's it. Step by step, you can make this rotating staircase yourself.